up guys and today we got the combine Darren McFadden with Dallas and the 40 yard dash chemistry 62 94 speed with the 40 yard dash chemistry boosted as well 88 agility 92 ball carry 86 juke 89 truck 91 carry 94 excel and 81 elusiveness now as far as the stats go you know he does have an 89 spin and an 88 stiff arm but none of their stats or none of his stats like that are, are 90 or above which is not that great 72 catch is decent now but like I was saying, his truck, juke, stiff arm, you know, all, all that stuff, he can do it. But from what I could tell, you're going to fail more than you succeed. That I can almost promise you. Like right here with the stiff arm and the juke, you can do it, but you're better off not trying to do it. And if you're wondering, then what the hell is the point of even getting him if I can't truck, stiff arm, juke, or spin with him? That does not mean that he's not worth getting. I definitely might keep him because I would say treat him like you would the running back versions of Tavon Austin and Tyreek Hill just use his speed because he does fall forward a lot and you see right here running up the middle is a good option as far as the hit sticks he took a lot of hit sticks guys and a lot of these hit sticks are me trying to truck guys like right here for example i'm gonna try and truck this guy and instead i got punched with the hit stick i'm not making that up man <laughs> i'm telling you that i'm trying you know that i try to truck so many guys in stiff arm and, and whatnot but i'm failing more than i succeed and i you know i'm just getting punished for it and speaking of which i did fumble twice out of like maybe seven hit sticks and catching was okay, but you see right there, he will drop some from time to time. As far as the bad plays, and you see right there, once again, trying to truck him, and I just get punished for it. But anyways, as far as the struggle points, like I said, treat him like you would Tavon Austin or any of those other guys, except the juking and spinning part, because I know Tyreek Hill and Tavon Austin can definitely juke and spin, but just use him for his speed. And this right here is exactly what I'm talking about, man. Look at the speed, the, the zigzag ability. Try to avoid contact. I know that sounds weird, because I know most guys you know think of Jeremy McFadden you know they want to run people over but I just didn't get that with Jeremy McFadden and this player right here is, a, is the perfect example that safety right there if this was Adrian Peterson or someone like that I would try to truck him every day but right here bam cut to the left avoid contact and just use the speed but like I said he does fall forward so even if you do make contact sometimes he will fall forward and right here this play is perfect for that too you see I used the speed to get to the outside and then he fell forward for the touchdown so that's going to wrap this up guys and I'm not saying Darren McFadden cannot truck juke stiff arm or anything like that. I'm just saying you will fail more than you succeed from what I can tell. If you try to truck someone 10 times most likely he'll get uh, tackled or hit stick 7 times. You might get like 3 successful trucks and whatnot, but I just feel that you're going to fail more than you succeed. Especially if you're going against the top tier guys like I am with these crazy players that they have on their team. But anyways guys he goes for like 80,000 that's really not that bad. and. As far as my next review, um, it's going to be the uh, Combine Fuller, and on defense, it's going to be the Super Bowl Von Miller and the defensive tackle Harrison. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys for those reviews. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you boys later. Peace.